Several years ago, I first encountered the Berkey and I thought, that is the coolest thing that basically you're supposed to be able to take water from like a nasty pond, <laughs> fill it up with that water and it comes out clean on the other side and totally safe to drink. And so anyway, I just thought for preparedness, this is like the best thing ever. And uh, as time passed, I finally decided it was time to get one and lo and behold, Berkey's not the only name in town <laughs> anymore. Uh, I found this one, the Alexa Pure, and there's a lot of talk about the Alexa Pure being potentially better, but certainly less expensive. And then I went on Amazon and there's a whole bunch of really inexpensive ones. This one is from Purewell, and it, to me it kind of looked like the best of what I'll call the Amazon special. And so I got this one. Um, it's not the cheapest one out there, but it was a lot less expensive than either of the other two. So we have the Berkey, Alexa Pure, and Purewell. And we are gonna put these up side by side and test how well they purify water. And I didn't just take tap water, cause that'd be boring. I went to my local fishing and duck pond <laughs> and I scooped up a five gallon bucket of water. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour a gallon or so of this water into each one of these and we're gonna let it filter. We're gonna test this water directly and see if it has any harmful bacteria. I actually ran this test in the spring and uh, filtered it through all of these filters and I took water actually out of um, a canal that was running through the, uh, the yard. And, uh, but it was early in the spring so we were getting a lot of like snow runoff and the water turned out like completely safe to drink without any filtering, according to basically all of the drinking water test kits uh, that I used and there was no harmful bacteria. So I decided this time I would wait until like the end of the summer and I would get water out of the, the duck pond <laughs> to try to get some unsafe bacteria to see if we, can, if we can get that and then to see if this will filter that out. Okay, I'm gonna start out by saying that's actually um, kind of gross. For me, it, I mean, it looks kind of greenish, but if you get real close, look at that. I got like little larva of something growing in here. Uh, how do we do this without making a giant mess? Here we go. I'm gonna use a quart jar and get some grass and everything. You know, I grew up swimming in lakes and ponds, so this looks gross because we're thinking of this as drinking water, but like, it's pretty normal. Still, I don't want those things like growing up and probably like mosquito larva or something. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear that on the microphone, but this one, the Pure Well, I checked it earlier. It is running through the filters, but you can hear it pouring. These other ones, they filter a lot slower, which actually makes me feel a lot better about how much they're actually filtering out. If the water can pass through it quickly, it means that the pores that it's passing through are bigger, meaning they're letting more stuff through. So I'm curious to see how this goes. Okay, our next step is gonna to be to let that filter a little bit. While we do that, I'm gonna get a baseline using that water that comes uh, straight out of the pond. All right, I'll go ahead and pour some pond water into the cup. I'm gonna start by using one of these um, 16 parameter water test kits from Verify. These are made for drinking water, so they should be testing for the things that could be in your drinking water that would be harmful to you. They're not testing for bacteria, but they are testing for a bunch of other stuff. Okay, we'll put in the first test strip. When we follow the instructions, it does say to dip it and hold it in the water for about two seconds. Then we'll gently shake off the extra water. And then we're gonna compare it to what's on here and get some readings of uh, the levels here. Here we go. And I don't wanna touch that because if I have stuff on my fingers, that could actually throw off the levels here. The pH is coming in really low. Um, it's actually darker than what's at the end of the spectrum. So it's on the acidic side for sure. It's also pretty hard. Hydrogen sulfide, basically zero. Iron, very, very low. Copper, color-wise, it's probably somewhere between zero and 0 0.2, very in the safe range. Lead, well in the safe range. I wouldn't expect a bunch of lead in this water. Manganese, totally fine. The uh, chlorine, I wouldn't have expected there to be chlorine in this pond water, uh, and there is basically none. Mercury is very, very low, basically zero. Nitrate and nitrite are both basically zero. If anything, sulfate is showing up a little high. Zinc is fine. Fluoride's basically zero. Sodium chloride, very, very low. Alkalinity, low and safe. Basically, this pond water 
other than potentially the bacteria and other crap that's living in it, sound looks like it's probably already basically safe to drink. We are going to do a bacteria test though in just a second. We'll do a second one and just see if the numbers are any different. Start at the bottom. Looking pretty fine. Now I've got some of these health metric bacteria test kits. Basically, we're going to fill each of these bottles with some of the water. I'm going to start with this water right here from straight from the pond, but then I'm going to fill one with each of these and label it. If it comes out after 48 hours purple, then we know it's totally safe. There's no harmful bacteria. And if it comes out yellow, then um, there's harmful coliform bacteria present. I'm going to start by labeling this. Then we're supposed to fill it up to the collar right there, shake it up for a good 20 seconds. And then I got to set it out of direct sunlight and basically leave it around room temperature for a up to 48 hours and then we'll come back. So let's go ahead and make that happen. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna set them just on a bookcase, just out of direct sunlight. Then I'm gonna come back and we'll do the same thing. We'll fill up three more bottles. Now the pure well is, um, it's going so fast. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that one up first. Given that the, uh, the water that we put into the filters was already safe according to all these parameters, I'm not gonna worry so much about that testing, but we do want to test for that harmful bacteria. That's about 20. All right, we got our water from the uh, Berkey and from the Alexa Pure. The water from the Berkey, honestly, it looks about the same color as the Pure Well, so I don't know if it's yellow or if it really is just kind of the way the light reflects inside of that white cup. Um, in the glass jar, it, it does look quite clear. Uh, same thing with the Alexa Pure. So they all basically visibly look the same. So now we need to see what the uh, bacteria test has to say about that. All right, now I have all four of them mixed up and ready to go. And I gotta wait 48 hours, but you get to wait just like a second, in fact. All right, now it's been over 48 hours and I pulled the test kits off of my shelf. I had them on a bookshelf like where they were in the shade, like in shadow the whole time. And from a distance, I looked at them and I'm like, they all look the same again. <laughs> they all look purple still, at least in shadow. And so I was like, oh, even the pond, gross pond water with duck poop in it didn't have bacteria. But when I pulled it out of the shadows and I actually got it out, I could see it had turned yellow. It still has a little bit of a purple hue. So at least now we have like a reasonable test because we know there was unsafe bacteria in the pond water we started with. So that made me a little bit more encouraged. And so then I went to pull the other ones out to look and see which of all of these was able to actually successfully filter out that harmful bacteria. I'm gonna start with the Alexa Pure. Um, this is by no means a definitive review of all of these. Obviously there are other factors that come into play about which one of these you should buy. Pricing being one of those factors. But when it comes to being able to actually filter the harmful bacteria, the Alexa Pure succeeded. This is absolutely still purple, no question about it. I mean, looking at these side by side, there's no question. The pond water is yellow, the Alexa Pure water is purple. So no harmful bacteria, congratulations Alexa Pure. And again, based on the other tests, the test strips that we ran, um, even the pond water was basically safe to drink except for the fact that, you know, it might make you sick but other minerals weren't super high, so I wasn't able to really test these for those. In fact, in order to run that test properly, I'm probably gonna have to add certain minerals to water and then see how well we're able to remove those, like maybe adding chlorine or fluoride, because most of these are not rated to remove those, and I'm curious if they'd be able to, even though that's not what they specify that they do. The Alexa Pure, the filters I have in here, are actually supposed to be able to remove those. Next, let's go to the Berkey. The Berkey, again, is the staple. It's been around a long time. It's also the most expensive one on the table. And the Berkey totally passed. It's purple, just like the Alexa Pure. So that's a good sign. Whether you have a, if you still have your old Berkey that's been around for a while, it's probably doing a great job. Now, there's different filters you can buy for the Berkey. I do have the, tri the typical black filters that are, I, but I don't have the kind of like the extra parts that you can get to, you know, remove extra fluoride or chlorine or other things like that. I have the typical black filters, but it did a great job of filtering out the harmful bacteria. What about the Pure Well though? This Pure Well filter here, this is the Amazon special and was significantly less expensive than the others. I noticed early on that this one filtered a lot faster, which told me that the pores on the filters themselves must be larger, 
which means they're not filtering out as much. Um, it does mean that I get the water filtered faster. It's just, it's not gonna be as thorough in the filtering. So what did we get as a result? It also filtered out the harmful bacteria, which tells me that it's likely that harmful bacteria is easier to filter out than maybe some other things. So I guess the lesson here is that if you have a water source that isn't contaminated with other really dangerous things, right? Um, it doesn't have a ton of chlorine in it or it doesn't have a whole lot of pesticides and other volatile organics. Now, some of these say that they're supposed to be able to remove VOCs too. Um, I just don't have great testing for that, nor do I have water that I have filled with volatile organic compounds that I've run through these. But we could do that at some point. That could be an interesting test. But anyway, if you have water that's relatively clean, it's just probably gonna have bacteria in it because it's been sitting stagnant in a pond or it's, just, it's stream water and there's fish and other animals. Um, being able to remove that harmful bacteria that's gonna cause us to potentially get sick, uh, all of these filters were capable of doing it. So in determining which filter is right for you, just make sure that you consider all of the factors. Look at the, the other things that they say they're supposed to be able to filter out and determine if that's important to you. If you wanna save money, but you really wanna have something that's gonna be able to filter water for you, you just can't break the bank, maybe go ahead and go with something really inexpensive. Again, this is the Purewell. I'll link to it in the description so you know exactly which model I got. Um, there are a lot of them on Amazon and some that are even cheaper than this that I was a little less trusting of. But also the Alexa Pure was a great value on my, my Patriot Supply. I got it for less than I got the Berkey for, but this came with four filters and it came with the filters that are able to filter out more stuff, at least according to their specs, than what Berkey even says that they're capable of doing. But Berkey's been around for a really long time, has been very trusted by a lot of people, and frankly, did a fantastic job and always has done a fantastic job. Um, I bought one of these for my parents a few years ago. Uh, the water up at their cabin, it comes out of the well like red from all of the iron in, in it. So it's, it's helpful for them to be able to take that water and easily filter it for drinking. But for the drinking water test, we have three passes and three great options. So you can decide for yourself what you think is gonna be the right choice.